Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, retired meteorologist with this tropical weather update for Sunday, September 25th. Tropical Storm Ian is slowly getting better organized today and it is poised to start a cycle of rapid intensification. The mid to upper level shear that has been inhibiting storm formation is easing up now, which will allow the storm to take on more of a tropical characteristic. This storm is moving into an area of very warm waters of the northwestern Caribbean Sea and with the low wind shear arriving this will allow for rapid intensification from a 50 mile per hour tropical storm into a low category hurricane overnight. From there it only gets better for the storm, worse for us. It will then be moving into the southeast Gulf of Mexico where it will tap into a high heat source of water temperatures around 90 degrees. This, along with a low shear environment, will cause the storm to continue in a rapid intensification cycle, ramping up to a Category 3 hurricane, that is with winds of 115 miles per hour by Tuesday morning, possibly reaching Category 4 with 130 mile per hour sustained winds by Wednesday afternoon. As the storm moves northward toward the middle to upper west coast of the Florida Peninsula, it will begin to enter into a region of southwest wind shear which will cause the storm to begin to weaken. As it moves further inland, it will continue to weaken more, but the base of the tropical to gale force winds, that is 39 miles per hour to 55 miles per hour, to some storm force winds, that is greater than 55 miles per hour, will begin to expand, covering a large region of damaging winds, including our area here of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. It appears that the center of the storm's circulation will be to our west, moving northward through western or central Georgia toward northwest South Carolina. This will put us in the volatile side of the storm, which has a higher probability to generate damaging short path tornadoes. The squalls associated with the storm will produce short periods of extremely heavy rains along with strong gusty winds. And this is where most of those tornado activities would be found. It appears that the greatest threat to our area from all of this will be from Thursday afternoon through early Saturday morning. This will be a slow moving storm. It might be a good idea to start preparing for tropical storm and or hurricane conditions in our area. Start by putting your hurricane plan into place and closely monitor forecast updates by tuning into your favorite local television station and other reliable news sources and to our local National Weather Service meteorologists from Charleston and from Jacksonville for our southern counties and from Peachtree City, Atlanta for our western counties and monitor your local emergency management agency and heed to their advice. It is quite certain that unless the storm shifts much further eastward, and that's not likely to happen, that evacuations will not be needed. However, if you do live in an unsecure mobile home or dwelling, make plans to seek shelter in a stronger structure now. I will continue to monitor this storm and advise you to do the same. Now you can find me on my website of savannapat.name or on my Weather and Nature Facebook page and on Twitter at Pat of Savannah and on my YouTube Weather and Nature channel. Just type in Patrick Prokop in the search and there you'll find it. I have links to all of these uh, in the description section below, right below me here. You are also invited to leave your comments in the comments section below the description area. Now, if you like this video, please hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Also, if you subscribe to this channel, you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. You can also catch me on my main YouTube channel, Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. There I post videos from my large telescopes outside in the Heavenly Backyard Garden, looking at the planets, colorful nebulae and star clusters and those distant galaxies. For example, last night I captured this, the Pleiades star cluster, right from my own backyard. And the other night, Thursday and Wednesday nights, I captured Saturn and the planet Jupiter. Well, thank you for watching and see you later here on YouTube.